So on, on this example, though, ladies and gentlemen, just all joking aside, basically, there's a couple steps that we want to follow um, when doing these problems. The main important thing is we always we want to identify the LCD first. But before we can identify the LCD, we want to make sure we can factor all of our denominators, or factor out basically any of our rational expressions here. Um, in this one, I see that this is a factorial trinomial. And that's factorial to x plus 5 times x minus 2. That's very important to understand, because when I'm trying to identify my LCD, remember my LCD, both of all of my denominators all need to divide into that LCD, right? So if x minus 2 needs to divide into my LCD, well, then I need to make sure that x minus 2 is contained in my LCD. x plus 5 doesn't divide into x minus 2 evenly, so I need to include an x plus 5 as well. So we go back and check before we move on. Does x plus 5 divide into this? Yes, x minus 2 times. x minus 2 divides into this. And then x plus 5 times x minus 2 divides into that as well. Does everybody follow me? Then we now take our LCD and we multiply it times every single expression. What that's going to do is that's going to eliminate our denominators. The reason why it eliminates our denominators is because of the division property. And again, remember the division property states when you have a number, a term, an expression multiplied or divided by itself, it divides to 1. So x plus 5 divided by x plus 5. Remember, this is, you're multiplying them by them in the numerator. And as long as you multiply a whole equation by the same number or term, you're not changing the equation. So x plus 5 divided by x plus 5 divides to 1. x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 divides to 1. x plus 5 divided by x plus 5, x minus 2, x minus 2. So let's write out what we have left. I have 3x times x minus 2. I have plus x plus 5. And then I have 7. Correct? Yes? No? Maybe so? OK. So I had applied a distributive property here. I get 3x squared minus 6x plus x plus 5 equals 7. I notice that this is a quadratic. Since this is a quadratic, I'm going to want to set everything equal to 0 so I can go ahead and solve. So I will subtract a 7 here, subtract a 7. I can combine my middle two terms, 3x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals 0. Now the next thing I want to do is determine, is this factorable? Can I factor this? So basically, I want to be able to see 3x and x. Well, I know that the first two terms have to multiply to give me 3x and x. And the last two terms have to multiply to give me negative 2. Well, watch. Does 3x times x give you 3x squared? Yes. yes. Does 1 times negative 2 give you negative 2? Yes. Does 3x times negative 2 gives you negative 6? Plus 1 times x gives you negative 5, negative 5, or sorry, 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x. That's 1x. Negative 6x minus negative 6x plus 1x is negative 5x. Yes? How do you like, find that? Using, like, a quick way? What? To find well, these two numbers, when you do FOIL, well, there's only so many options. I mean, it's just by, I mean, one, it's practice. But two, there's only so many options you guys can do. OK? You either have, you know, since that's a negative number, you have to have, you could have one in front here, one and two. 2 and 1 and 2 and 1. Do you agree with me? That's the only, it's the only possibilities. You could have positive, negative, negative, positive, positive, negative, negative, positive. I mean, there's only four options. So it's really not that bad. You just, the main important thing is when you're doing this is you check the first two numbers have to give you 3x squared. The last two numbers have to give you negative 2. And then all you do in your head is you combine the outer and the inner. And then so you know, I'm just juggling all those numbers in my head, and I'm doing that in my head. And that's why Brandon and I can come up with that as my answer. 
And then, therefore, now I can apply a zero product property. Then I go back and I plug my answers back in. And I notice, though, when I plug 2 in for x here, that makes that 0. So therefore, that's extraneous. Okay, You will be asked about extraneous solutions. So make sure you know. Un pregunto, por favor.